Our Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to come before your throne of grace and to receive mercy and help in times of trouble. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, to wake up this morning clothed in our right minds with a reasonable portion of our health and our strength, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your angels to be kept around about us, Lord, as we went throughout our day, keeping us safe from both dangers seen and unseen, guiding us safe from the trouble of the dangerous highways and byways as we made our way to this house of worship, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the presence that we feel right now in the sanctuary, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the infinite of the Holy Ghost, Lord, and the water baptism in your precious name. And Lord, we ask, Lord, to be with us in this service, Lord Jesus. Lord, you send your word, Lord, to prepare our hearts to receive the word, that your word fall upon good ground, Lord, and take root in our hearts. Lord, upon all these prayer requests, Lord, that have went up before you, Lord, move in each and every one of them according to your will, and we come to give your name the praise and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you.
that for we want. That's right. In order to be in step, you got to think to be in step. Well. Amen. The text that I had read tonight is so vital in our walk with God because what he's talking about is simply being in step. When you're in step with him, here come the blessings of God. It's simply being in step with the Lord. People saved after they repent of their sins and they're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of their sin and receive the Holy Ghost. And they choose to follow Christ in his teachings. That's how you in step with the Lord, you got to be converted and decide to follow Christ and his teachings. Right then, Christians realize that they will dwell with him forever and ever. In other words, amen, when you get in step with the Lord, you, you don't have to worry about where you're going. Well, after you leave this life, you'll spend eternity with the Lord. Matter of fact, that is the greatest blessing that you actually could ever receive from God to be allowed to walk on the streets of gold. Amen. But many don't understand what they can expect for the remainder of their lives here on earth. I'll tell you what I expect after getting converted and saved and walking in step with God, we ought to expect the blessings of God. Matter of fact, it's a promise. If we are in step with the Lord, the Lord is going to bless us. Yes, he He's going to help us. I'm talking about the blessings. The blessings. Amen. When you look at the book of Deuteronomy, that belongs to us, folks. Right, preacher. That's right. We've been Amen. engrafted in. That's right. Amen. The Jews are kin to us. Right. Will you clap your hands unto the Lord? <laughs> One benefit that's available immediately is growing. Amen. A relationship with the Lord. Amen. The Father, the oneness with Jesus. I want you to get, amen, John 10 to 30. Praise God. I believe it's the first John uh, 10 to 30. It's uh, The oneness of God is so vital in our walk with God when we get converted. We walk in the oneness of God and we are in step with Him. Amen. We Jesus is the same. That's right. Yeah. Come on, preacher. And when you get converted, you got to get in step with the Lord yeah. and be one with Him. One with Him. Yes, sir. Amen. And how you become one with Him, you have to start agreeing with truth. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. It illustrates, amen. In, in intimacy God wants to have with his children with saints he had this type of closeness in the mind and creation he wanted us to be like him hello and one day we're going to be like him and we'll have 
the same body that Jesus came. A heavenly body. Amen. When we're called in the rapture, if we die in Christ, we're all going to receive a heavenly body like it to Christ's body. Relationship with man is an avenue for him to simply express his love for us to worship and to understand our maker. Amen. You know, it's, it's really something um, when you begin to establish a good relationship with God through prayer and through worship, amen, you begin to understand our creator better. You see, there are some advantages in living for the Lord and actually surrendering your whole heart to There's some advantages. Christ follows a promise, clear guidance through God's Holy Spirit, decision-making, is a part of everyday life. We have to make decisions. You know, it's a beautiful thing to know, amen, that you have the Lord on your side when it comes to making decisions. Amen. Because he can help you make the right decisions. Yeah. It is impossible for a mere human to know every verbal, amen, That's right. before choosing That's right. which path to take. Amen. I, uh, over the years, I have discovered, amen, that there are some things that are beyond our control, but everything is in control by the Lord. So why not, when I have to deal with things that are beyond my control, let's turn to the Master and let the Master work it out for me. It's amazing, amen, what can happen when you're in step with the Lord. The Lord will help you to make right choices. Amen. amen. You begin to see things the way he sees things. But the Lord knows all things. Hello? The Lord knows all things, past, present, and future. With God's wisdom available, it's hard to understand why anyone would prefer to simply trust in their own hunches. You know how we are sometimes. We didn't get to trust in our own hunches about things. But if you get in step with the Lord, he'll help you. To make right choices. Praise God. Let's roll up and right now. Yeah, of course, shout out to Kodi Yama. Yeah, of she died to fill up a cup. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You know, it's really something about how the Lord will bless your basket. Hmm. You got a wild one. Stand up and show you your basket. All right. Who got a purse around here? Come on, stand up. The Lord said he'll bless your pastor. That's what he's talking about. Come on. Amen. He gonna, he'll bless you coming in and going out. Well. In 1967, there was a war that broke out in Israel. Well, I'm about to preach. They came from every side. And they were outnumbered. Uh -huh. And because of the promises that God and the covenant that he had with Israel, they defeated the enemy in 1967. In other words, the Lord promises are to his people. Come on, let's thank 
the Lord for his promises. His promises to his people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Provisions is not another blessing guaranteed for believers. There will be hard times when God gives Christians everything necessary for the following him. Even in hard times. He'll give us the things that we need to take care of any situation. Philippians 419, get it. Philippians 419. Read it real quick. Put it up on, on the thing there. I want everybody to see that. You know, it, it's really something how uh, sometimes we shortchange ourselves simply not believing that God will keep, has enough power to take care of everything. Read it. Yeah. When God shall supply, but but my God shall supply all your needs. All your needs according to His riches. According to His riches in glory. In glory by Christ Jesus. By Christ Jesus. Amen. Now let me tell you something. How you get that? Let's get in step with the Lord. There's some folks at New Birth Academy that were driving nice vehicles. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Hello. Free preacher. I ain't talking about no get out and push it. All right. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to tell you the truth. The Lord knows how to give us exactly what we need. And he might give you a, a, a little pinto or whatever. They won't make those no more. But they're much smaller. Yeah. Oh, there you go. He might give you that, but he said, according to your need. Your need. Praise God. They <laughs> said, brother, you don't need a Cadillac. Praise God. Let's thank the Lord for that comment right there. And his grace will always. Prove more than sufficient. Preach. Yes, yes. That's right. Preach, preacher. Amen. Hello. Yes, sir. He said, my grace, my grace. is sufficient. sufficient. That's what he told Paul. That's right. Amen. When he had a thorn in the side, he said, Paul kept going and Lord finally got upset and said, look here, my grace is sufficient. Yes. And anything that you need of God, his grace is sufficient to supply your need. When you clap your hands to the Lord, His grace is sufficient. Yes. How abundantly God's gift to His children. One word of caution. That these gifts are effective only when believers walk in obediently with Him. Sin. Hello? We'll stop. Sin will hold back the blessings of God. That's why it's so why I walk with God to take care of the sin issue. Praise God. It's vital. The Lord wants to bless us. You know, it's, it's really something I want to start down to simply uh, obey the Lord and man the ties and giving offerings unto the Lord. Yes. Anybody around here been really blessed because you've been paying your tithes? Amen. 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 Why don't you shout and thank the Lord?
they simply walking in obedience to pay their tithes. Let me tell you something. They may be sinners. They may be out of church. But you know what the Lord going to do? He's going to bless them. He's going to bless them. Our Heavenly Father desires that all his sons and daughters have these blessings. Hello. If you're living in obedience before him, we can have every blessing that's in the book of Deuteronomy. We can have every blessing. But obedience is important to receive your blessings from the Lord. Will you clap your hands unto the Lord? Obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. You see, they are available to you. Is anything getting in the way of your total submission to him? Is anything getting in the way of your total submission to the Lord? That thing, whatever it is, could cause God not to bless you. If anything, we need to walk in submission unto the Lord and obey his word. God knows how to take care of your health, your finances. Praise God. Anybody recently got blessed by the Lord with a pay raise? Why don't you stand and shout? Thank the Lord. Amen. Is simply being in step with the Lord. Yes, yes. God has a way because He knows the past and the present yes. and the future. And He knows exactly what each and every one of us need. Yeah. Praise God. And there are times that you won't even have to go to the Lord in prayer and ask God for it. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. In the show. Will you clap your hands and do what they're showing? Praise God. Let's talk to God a moment about getting this step. Would you stand? I'm going to close this Bible study out here because uh, uh, the Lord gave this to me how important it is to be in step. And uh, in the process of building, amen, another facility. And how we're going to build and get blessed by the Lord simply be in step. Amen. Be in step with the Lord will open the windows of heaven to bless the church. And I'll be honest with you. He don't need everybody to bless the church. Right. Hello? Hello. There's terrorists and there's wheat. Well, praise the Lord. He'll bless the wheat and the terrorists get blessed also. Well, let them grow. Let them grow together. Praise God. It's so important. We lift up your hands and ask the Lord to help you get in step with Him. Thank you, Jesus. Ask the Lord to help you get in step with him. Ask the Lord to help you get in step with him. Get in step with the Lord so the Lord amen, can bless you and help you. Hallelujah. Get in step with the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Come on, talk to the Lord. I got to give you a step. I want all my blessings. Come on. I want all my blessings. I want them. Hallelujah. Praise God. Get in step with the Lord. I got to get in step with him. One of the most powerful doctrines in the Bible is repentance. Repentance. That's how you get in step. Hello? Praise God. And repentance is not just when you first get saved. Well. Hello? Matter of fact, it's so important that you have need. Before you ask God, make sure you get on your knees and repent. Hello? Because if you have anything in the way, you ain't going to get what you need. Man. But if you take care of it by simply repenting, you'll get your need back. Praise God. Amen. We're going to open uh, for our business meeting.